Blackburn is the Republican senator from Tennessee, of course, who sits on the Senate Judiciary Committee. She's also a ranking member of the Senate Subcommittee on Consumer Protection, Product Safety, and Data Security. Uh, senator, good to see you. Thank you very much for being here today. Yes, uh, So indeed. as we look at uh, 11 uh, o'clock on the East Coast today, what's your best take? You've been watching this process from the House side and now the Senate yes. side throughout your career. Where do you think this is headed? I think they're headed to a stalemate, Martha, because what Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer are doing, they're talking to people in the Beltway. They're not outside of the Beltway. And the American people have decided that this socialist agenda is about tearing down this country. It is about stripping our institutions, federal control of our schools and of our health care, closing our churches. These are the things that people are seeing. They're furious about inflation, the price at the pump. And what they're saying is, stop it. That is why the president's numbers are tanking. It is why Pelosi cannot get the votes together, because most people across this country, they love this country. They love what this country stands for. And they know that this $3.5 trillion spending <coughs> bill which is actually about $5 trillion, plus the $1.2 trillion in infrastructure, plus the $1.9 trillion they've already done, is to drive up the debt so that they can increase the taxes and say, oh, by the way, don't look at that number. It's paid for, and people do not believe it. And thank goodness they're waking up. Yeah. You know, they said it was cost zero dollars. I, I don't think people are going to feel that way when they start to <laughs> yes. see uh, the increase in their taxes, especially small businesses that pay taxes on companies right. that could easily hit $400,000 for the company. So here's Jen Psaki, yesterday, Senator. She was pressed on these divisions uh, that are quite clear right now in the, Republic, in the Democrat Party, I should say, uh, by Jackie Heinrich, who we just talked to. Watch this. Has the president at all lost control of his party? Some people say that it appears that progressives are running the show, they're banding together and making their demands. Other people are saying, looks like Joe Manchin is playing president. So who is in charge? Well, this is how democracy works. I know it feels foreign because there wasn't much that happened over the last couple of years. What's your response to that, Senator? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a laughable response, Martha. We know that Joe Biden is not in charge. We know that the cabal behind the curtain is running the show. Pelosi and Schumer are a big part of that. We also know that the left is trying to take control of the Democrat Party, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. But you've got some folks that are still a few little moderates hanging around that are saying, we're not going to let you do this. Problem is, they've already done it. The American people are seeing what they're about. They do not want three and a half trillion dollars in new spending. They do not want to lose their faith, family, freedom, mm -hmm. hope, opportunity. Give all that to the federal government and let the federal government run their lives from sunup to sundown. You know, I remember during the debates, the presidential debates, at one point, now President Biden was pressed on whether or not he was going to be a very <coughs> liberal progressive president. And he said, you know, it, it's my party now. I'm the standard bearer of this party yeah. now, and you know who I am, meaning I'm a moderate. You've, you've seen me throughout the course of my career. I, I'm just wondering, you know, yeah. it, where that is right now, because he does seem to be very behind the scenes in this process. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, I want to turn your attention now to the border Indeed. and the crisis that we're seeing there. Yes. The Department of Homeland Security will no longer deport migrants solely because they are undocumented. Instead, DHS is going to focus on those who pose a threat to national security or public safety. Meanwhile, you've got a massive caravan of mostly Haitian migrants that's making its way to the border as we speak. We've been told that by Panama's foreign minister. Panama's foreign minister, he says it looks like it's about 60,000 people going from his country. Senator, <coughs> you and your colleague, Lindsey Graham, sent a letter to the president yesterday demanding Correct. that he turn that caravan around. Uh, did you get any response? And how exactly would he go about doing that? We have no response, and he should be the president, and Secretary Mayorkas should be working with these governments there in the Northern Triangle and putting the pressure on them, putting the pressure on Mexico. 
to say to these caravans, which are all being handled by the cartels, Martha, no one comes across that border unless they have paid the cartel or if they are working, going to work that fee out. Also, Facebook should be shut down. They're the ones that are putting up, here's the information, how to contact the cartel. So these social media sites need to take all of this information down. Joe Biden should be firm on this. We are a sovereign nation. Our border is not open. Do not come. He should be working with these other countries to stop this. There are people from 150 wow. different countries that have crossed that border so far this year, 1.5 million people. It is not slowing down. They yeah. are trying to overrun the country. Every state's a border state. Every town is a border town because of the sex trafficking, right. human trafficking, and drugs. Senator, since, since you bring up Facebook, yesterday their chief of global safety yeah. testified in front of your committee, and you and your colleagues questioned her on the Wall Street Journal's reporting. It found that the company learned through its yes. own research that Instagram was extremely toxic for teen girls' mental health, but didn't do anything about that. It was quite a display, really, of bipartisan outrage there. Watch this. Instagram is that first childhood cigarette meant to get teens hooked early, exploiting the peer pressure of popularity and ultimately endangering their health. You're not committing to any specific steps, but you do acknowledge there is a problem with eating disorders, with suicidal tendencies that may be fostered or promoted. Have you quantified how many children have taken their own lives because of your products? This is not causal research, Senator. This is your, your company's reporting. You knew it was there, but you didn't do anything about it. New York Post editorial board not at all optimistic after the hearing with the headline, Facebook doesn't care about doing the right thing at all. But, Senator, my question for you is, you know, there is some bipartisan support for this. And I feel as though we've been hearing, I know you've been very active on this issue. Right. But I think Americans are frustrated when you see left and right singing the same tune. Where is the legislation to, to upgrade the regulation for these companies? Where is it? The Browser Act is an online privacy bill that we have worked on for several years. I introduced it first, I think it was in 2012. And Martha, now there is bipartisan agreement that passing an online federal privacy standard is an imperative. You're seeing us move forward on that, and I expect we will do that very soon. Also, beefing up the COPA, which is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, we will do that putting in place more penalties and enforcements, because you have people like Facebook that are in violation of that law. Then also you will see us do something on data security and on some Section 230 reforms that not only get to censorship and preferencing, but also to product placement of illicit and illegal products that many times are online with some of these big aggregator sites. But it yeah, has well. taken time, I will tell you that. Working on privacy, mm -hmm. this has been, for me, nearly a decade to allow you, the online user, to own your information. Yeah. Um, we know you've been working hard on it, and uh, we hope that we do see the results that you reference there. And yes. please keep us posted on it, because um, I, I think that it's a real frustration, and it's great to hear this bipartisan support for, um, for some yes. new controls. Uh, Senator, thank you. Great, great to see you, as always. Thank you.